guys, what's up? It's Alex. I am super glad you're here. As you can see, I am not in my studio in Vancouver. I am sitting in my hotel room in San Diego where I am literally minutes away from walking downstairs and kicking off our Flight Club Mastermind Weekend. Now, for those of you who don't know, I run a high-level mastermind for experienced internet marketers and entrepreneurs along with my business partner and co-host, Glenn Ledwell. And this weekend, I thought I would do something a little bit different and give you sort of a behind-the-scenes look at what it's like to run a high level event and also share some of the key takeaways that I learned this weekend because taking the stage are some of the most brilliant internet marketers, entrepreneurs, traffic experts, SEO experts, copywriters, literally in the entire industry. Now before I go, be sure to subscribe because every single week I release a new tutorial on copywriting, marketing, and more. So hit subscribe and I will see you right back here in a couple seconds. Okay, so I'm just about to head down for day two of my Flight Club Mastermind here in San Diego. And before I head down, I wanted to share some of the key takeaways from yesterday's speakers. Now, I can't say too much because the number one rule of Flight Club is... You do not talk about Flight Club. But I wanted to share just a couple of things that I think will really help you in your copywriting. So the first speaker who took the stage yesterday was Dan Rose. Now, Dan is a YouTube advertising expert who has profitably spent over $30 million on YouTube ads. So this guy knows a thing or two about using YouTube to drive traffic. And the number one thing that he said that really, really stuck with me is the need for personalized sales funnels based on your traffic source. So as I mentioned in my marketing trends video, personalization is becoming more and more important in your marketing. So think about it. When you're writing a sales funnel and you're using the same sales funnel for Facebook ads and YouTube ads and internal traffic and affiliate traffic, every single person is getting the exact same message. Whereas if I'm coming to your website from a YouTube video I just watched, you might wanna think really carefully about that user experience. How might you personalize that funnel to a YouTube click? Maybe you would use video on the page. Maybe you would include the topic of the video they just watched on your landing page. Maybe you would include video testimonials. If someone is used to the YouTube platform, think about how you'll wanna use that in your sales funnel. So creating personalized sales funnels based on traffic source. So simple, so, so, so powerful. So the second speaker who took the stage yesterday was none other than Roland Frazier. Roland is an investor and advisor to companies like Digital Marketer, the largest digital marketing company in the entire world. Chances are you've heard of them or at least attended one of their events. They do traffic and conversion summit all over the world. So what I really loved about what Roland talked about is customer experience. And I think as copywriters and marketers, we don't spend nearly enough time thinking about the customer experience. And one thing he said that really stuck with me is when a prospect interacts with your brand, they are looking for inconsistency. They are looking for a reason to not buy from you. The market is becoming so, so savvy and they are not tolerant of anything that smells fishy or hypey or over-markety or inauthentic. So this starts long before your sales page and continues on way into your customer experience after they've purchased from you. So he talks about something called the Fab 50, which is essentially identifying the feelings actions and beliefs of your prospect at every single touch point in your entire marketing journey. So from the very second they see your first ad all the way till well after they've bought from you, think of every single touch point. Your ad, your landing page, your thank you email, your sales messages, your follow-up messages, your purchase page, your shopping cart, your upsells, your post-purchase emails. These are all touch points that need to be completely consistent from start to finish. So I'll give you an example of a feeling, an action, or a belief that someone might have the second they see your ad. So what are people feeling the second they see your ad? Are they feeling comfortable? Do they feel like they can trust you? What actions would someone take as soon as they saw your ad? Would they click the ad or would they open another tab and Google your business and see how legit you are? Do they believe you? Do they believe you're selling what you say you're selling? Do they believe they should pay for shipping? So by actually talking to your customers, yes, 
actually talking to them. Roland suggests interviewing your top 50 customers. Ask them what their feelings, actions, and beliefs are at every single point of the purchase process, and this will give you invaluable information on how to improve your sales funnel. Remember, because your customers are looking for a disconnect. Roland said yesterday that all the copy that happens after the headline, people will read just to see if there's anything inconsistent. So be consistent, be real, ask people what's up, and you can tweak your sales copy and messaging to be infinitely more powerful, trustworthy, and authentic. Now, Roland also recommended you read the book Be Our Guest, which is Disney's customer experience method. So it looks like this, and I will include an Amazon link in the description below so you can get your hands on that. I know I'm definitely gonna be listening to that on Audible very, very soon. Okay, so now I wanna talk about the third speaker who took the stage yesterday, and it's my homegirl, Amber Spears. Amber is the co-founder of East Fifth Avenue Affiliate Marketing, which is a boutique marketing agency that represents some of the biggest personal development and health offers online. In the last three years alone, Amber and her team have generated over $43 million in front-end launch sales for their clients. So she knows a thing or two about affiliate marketing. And Amber really talked about how the industry is changing and how people are no longer tolerant of not doing things in a very authentic, very upfront, transparent way. And that doesn't just apply to your sales pages. As I mentioned before, your offer starts long before anyone even sees your sales page. So one of the things Amber hears a lot from her clients is this offer is dead, it's no longer converting, I need to create a new product or write an entire new sales page in order to keep my business off the ground. And that's just simply not true. In fact, you can create multiple entry points for one particular offer because often it's the ad or the landing page or the way you're positioning the offer on the front end that's fatiguing and the offer itself is actually totally fine and still something that's incredibly valuable and highly sought after. So create multiple assets, ads, landing pages, emails. Go to town, I'm thinking about all the different ways you can position your offer to different audiences and you can quadruple your business. Use YouTube, Facebook, podcasting, email marketing, affiliate marketing. There are so many ways that you can position an offer to new audiences without having to redo everything. You just have to be smart and intuitive and know what your prospect wants. Okay, so I'll be back tomorrow with a couple takeaways from today's sessions and I'll see you guys real soon. All right, guys, so it is day three of the Flight Club Mastermind, and we are about to head out on a beautiful catamaran around San Diego Harbor, uh, but I wanted to check in real quick and share my top three takeaways from yesterday's speakers. Just like day one, these speakers were absolutely amazing. We had Alex Mendozian kicking off the day. Now, if you do not know Alex Mendozian, he is legit an internet marketing OG. Back when I started at Mind Valley in 2008, his stuff was some of the first that I studied. He's absolutely brilliant. Since 1993, he has helped his clients, his students, and his JV partners earn $417 million in sales. And he talked about something that was so, so powerful and something that I think all you copywriters and entrepreneurs out there might wanna check out. So he told the story of advertising executive Leo Burnett. And you might not have heard of Leo Burnett, but you've definitely heard of some of his advertising campaigns. The Marlboro Man, Tony the Tiger, he was truly the genius behind many of the most successful advertising campaigns. And he had in one year 62, 62 marketing campaigns fail. And by the way, 62 failures means he had a lot more marketing campaigns, which means if you're failing or if your marketing's not working, your copy's not converting, keep trying. So what he found is that these advertising campaigns actually failed because the copy included too many adjectives and not enough verbs. So according to Alex Mandosian, nouns bore people, adjectives push people away, and verbs actually move people. And it makes so much sense, right? A noun describes a person, place, or thing, barring. An adjective is a descriptor word, which often pushes people away, because think about it, when we're describing ourselves, we don't wanna say, I'm amazing, I'm brilliant, I'm smart, I'm funny. You know, we wanna talk about what we do. And verbs are action words. So, I thought this was absolutely brilliant. I actually found an adjective counter online that I'm gonna link to below, but it's a super cool exercise to run your copy through this calculator and see how many adjectives you're using in your copy and how can you replace those adjectives with verbs or words that actually get people to move. Awesome, right? Okay, so the second speaker who took the stage is Lauren 
Baker. And Lauren is an SEO expert. He runs a publication called Search Engine Journal, which is one of the most read SEO blogs online. And he talked about how content marketing is changing. So SEO is no longer about quantity. It's no longer about writing a bunch of articles on related topics. What Google is looking for now is quality authority pieces that are useful and usable. And the three things that Google looks for in your content are expertise, authority, and trust, or Eat. So if you do any sort of content marketing and you have a lot of old posts on your blog or any content that's no longer relevant, definitely go back and clean that up and merge a lot of posts on related topics into one authority piece that's longer and includes more of those elements. Okay, last but not least, the one and only Matt Boggs took the stage at Flight Club. Now, Matt is a dating and relationship coach who has over 590 thousand subscribers on YouTube. Although he wasn't talking about YouTube at Flight Club, he was actually talking about the key communication differences between men and women, which was absolutely fascinating. Uh, and you know, there was one quote that he shared that was a really big takeaway for me, and I think this applies not only in your relationships, but also in your marketing. And it's a quote by Marshall Turnbull, and he says that the meaning of your communication is the response you get. So it doesn't matter what you're saying, if you're not getting the response that you want, or if you're not getting a response that's favorable, then you need to change your communication. And isn't that true in all communication, not just with our loved ones, family members, romantic partners, but in our marketing. So if you're trying something and it's not working and you're not getting the response you want, try changing your communication. All right, well, I have a boat to catch, so that is all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up below if you found it helpful, and stay tuned because next week I'll have a brand new video coming your way. In the meantime, you can check out a couple of my videos here and here, and be sure to subscribe. I'll see you next week. Till then, I'm Alex. Ciao for now. Which is a boutique market, which